Good morning. I am deeply honored to stand before you today at the Rock Family Shul, Chabad Downtown Center alongside Rabbi Lipsker and his family as we come together as a community to address pressing needs both at home and abroad. In these challenging times of conflict, it is crucial that we extend our support and solidarity not only to our local community, but also to those facing adversity overseas. Today, we're launching a vital initiative to provide essential first aid clothing and kosher protein bars and toys to those in need in these difficult times. Our goal is to make a meaningful impact on the lives of individuals and families who are struggling. But our commitment doesn't stop there. We also want to express our unwavering support to Israel and to the Jewish community during these hard times. It's during moments like this that we must come together as one, transcending borders and differences to stand in solidarity with our global neighbors. I urge each and every one of you today to join us, whether by donating items, volunteering your time, or spreading the word about our cause. Together we can make a difference by providing essential resources, by showcasing the resilience and unity of our beautiful city. Thank you for being here today. And thank you for your compassion and generosity. Together, we can create a brighter and more hopeful future for all. Thank you very much, Commissioner Kovo, and thank you to the city of Miami um, for partnering with us on this very special mission. It's uh, an, an incredible time for, to, uh, to stand up and to stand up for what's right and to show what's light over darkness. And I'm so proud of our city of Miami, who has always been a great partner and friend of our community and especially during this challenging time uh, to stand with us and and to further to help the special cause of the people in Israel you know we, we were in Israel last week and um, we visited many of the homes of the families that were affected by this terrible attack on October 7th and as well as there is now close to 300,000 um, uh, homes and Jews who are displaced because they have to evacuate because of the current terror attacks in the north and the south. And so we made our commitment to uh, continue our work. We went last week and we brought 52 bags worth of humanitarian aid, of whether it's first aid or medical or food and protein bars or different items that the city is requesting. And uh, when we came back, we were so inspired. We said, you know, we have to do it again. And so I spoke to Commissioner Kovo. She said, let's, let's do it together. And we're leaving again on Monday in a very special mission. We hope to take this time even twice the amount of bags of humanitarian aid. We thank all the residents of the city of Miami for being a part of this uh, special project and um, showing our support. The, mo the most important thing for our friends and family in Israel is to know that we care about them and that we're here in America and we're, they're not alone. And this is the way, that was the most important thing, you know, we brought letters from our preschool and that itself was so meaningful, just the fact that they knew that we were thinking about them. And so we're going one more step with an official partnership with the city of Miami and um, hopefully all, those, uh, uh, all the residents will be able to help us. Um, the information will be posted about um, where to drop off right at our shul over here, uh, at the Rock Family Shul, and we'll be packing everything up for our, our special mission on Monday. Lo que se está pidiendo es ayuda humanitaria de eh, Medicam, por ejemplo, eh, de cualquier tipo de necesidad con Bindates, con gasas, las barras de proteína que son kosher, por ejemplo, eh, que obviamente sean nuevas. Hay diferentes marcas que se pueden encontrar en cualquier supermercado. También eh, juguetes pequeños que no estén obviamente empacados, pero que sean nuevos para los niños que están hospitalizados o que han sido víctimas del conflicto. Pueden eh, traerlo aquí al Rock Shoot de Brickell hasta el domingo. Ellos se van en esta misión humanitaria el lunes.